The first thing to understand about working with audio in Final Cut is how to read the audio level meters. There's a small version of the meters next to the timecode counter, but that's not going to give us enough information. Clicking on that small meter will open the full size level meters, so make sure you have those open while editing. By now you should have some clips in a project that contain sound. Ideally, those clips include some featured audio for you to experiment with. Featured audio includes things like a person speaking or music, anything more than just background noise. Make sure you have a few of those clips in the timeline before continuing the training. Notice these horizontal lines that stay in the meters for a few seconds. These show you the loudest levels of your audio. We refer to these as peaks. Your goal is to manage the peak levels of your featured audio so they are neither too loud nor too quiet. Look closely at the meters to see the numeric values shown along the left edge. For cable TV, the maximum peak levels for featured audio, like music and speech, should be between minus 20 and minus 12. We'll start making some changes in a minute, but first let's take a look at the clips themselves as they appear in the timeline. Audio waveforms are a visual representation of the sound in any given clip. This clip represents a common example of audio that's too loud to be within acceptable levels. The subject is speaking at a consistent volume, but the meters peak in the minus six range. Yes. <gasps> Adjusting the level of this entire clip is simple. Look for a horizontal audio overlay line running the length of the clip where the audio waveform is located. Hold your mouse cursor over that line and it will change to the adjustment cursor. You'll also see a box reading 0 dB. That number indicates how much you've adjusted the level, so click and drag to make an adjustment. The box will show how much you're subtracting from the level and you'll also see the waveform itself change shape. After you've made an adjustment, you can play through a section again to watch the meters and make sure the level is what you want. Yes. <gasps> You'll come across clips that have varying levels of audio, where one portion is acceptable, but another is too loud or too quiet. You can bend that audio overlay line by creating two or more keyframes and adjusting them up and down. To create a keyframe, hold down the Option key while hovering over the overlay. When you see the keyframe cursor, click to make a keyframe. You'll need at least two of those so that Final Cut can create a smooth fade between them. With multiple keyframes, you can drag them up and down to change the levels. You can also drag them left and right to adjust the length of the fade between them. Be sure to always listen in real time while watching the meters to confirm consistent, acceptable levels throughout your project. It doesn't do as much as mom's iPhone, does it? Sometimes you just need an easy way to make the audio in a clip fade in or fade out. For that function, look for quick fade handles on any audio clip. Hover the mouse over the audio portion of any clip and watch for these small tabs on the edges. Click and drag that tab away from the edge of the clip to create a simple fade. The video transitions we learned about in Section 7 include an audio fade, so you won't see quick fade handles when transitions are already placed.